Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wednesday. Uh, don't ask me the date. Uh, I'm not a truther. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's Wednesday. Uh, listen, tonight I'm going here in Bris Vegas, Brisbane, Queensland, the greatest state in the world. Um, going to, um, being collected and going to a uh, voice uh, sort of meeting where uh, Jacinta Namajira Price and uh, Anthony Mundine, I believe, are going to be guest speakers there. That should be interesting. That should be interesting. And uh, I appreciate uh, my great friends down on the Gold Coast, um, Rubes from Rubes Flyers, um, in uh, in uh, both grabbing hold of a couple of spare tickets and offering to come and pick me up. Thank you, Rubes. Um, listen, in this upload, mate, um, uh, and I hope I hope you're going to follow me. Right. I, I don't know if I'm going to make any sense, but listen, uh, some stuff's been bugging me. I mean, I've been very, very uh, you know, vocal and, 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 you know, as usual, fucking confrontating and all that sort of shit. Right. Um, about this freedom movement um, and, uh, and and, you know, what I should do. You get me. Now, um, uh, I want to I want to take a left, you know, I want to veer off, segue off, right, uh, into a discussion about General Michael Flynn. Look, soon, soon, um, and don't ask me to go through any intimate details. I don't have the time to go through every blow, 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 right? I'm just giving you my uptake on it, right, how I see it, how I'm interpreting things. So don't hang me. Look, General Flynn, been through to Helen back. Helen back, lots and lots of stuff said about General Michael Flynn, his brother, General Charles Flynn in Hawaii, and he's the uh, commanding officer of all of the Pacific US military. Now, soon General Flynn is going to be able to get his story right um, out, right? give evidence, right? Uh, again, you have a look and you know follow it, right? But soon. Um, General Flynn is going to be able to, uh, you know, like put lots of things out there in in the public, and no one's going to be able to shut it down. I mean, you've got to remember, Tucker Carlson interviews President Trump, three hundred million views. Do you understand? Do you understand, mate? Um, you know, anything that hits, you know. Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, and these sorts of people made of me. We are the media now. We are the media, not them. And so if General Flynn comes out and puts stuff out there, a huge amount of people are going to see it. Now, I'm, I want you to look at this next clip, right? And I'm going to try and put together my discussion and try and bring it together uh, in a bit. But give me, cut me some slack. Look at this next clip. And, and uh, take note of what General Flynn's previous role was, okay, in national security. And, and more importantly, what he had access to. I mean, General Michael Flynn um, had intimate access to all of the black budget stuff, all of the infiltration stuff. You know, where they go and infiltrate... Uh, um, and spy on governments and nations, you know, movements, Black Lives Matter, everything, everything. And including the freedom movement and the truth movement, right? Including that, not just the FBI and the CIA and Pfizer and all that. I mean, this guy had access to literally everything and how it worked. And he, he the guy understands it. I mean, he's, he's a smart cookie, man. Our man, our man, General Flynn's a smart cookie. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you why everybody, why everyone has tried to discredit General Flynn, including, you know, the happy gospel singer, you know, the, the, you know, the scripture guy, Lynn Wood. I'm an old ex-communist, mate. If you want to get me, my suspicions go through the roof as soon as someone starts quoting scripture at me. 
I mean, we used to train communists to infiltrate the church. You get me? Don't quote scripture at me, all you Christian dudes, or I will get sus real quick. General Flynn makes me to hell and back. And he has had a tsunami of freedom people, church people, and everyone else, including Obama himself, try to take him out. You get me? I want to try and bring this a little bit closer to home, right? Look, and, and this is out there. I mean, I'm not saying anything that's not out in the public view, okay? Now, a while back, a while back, uh, General Flynn done an interview with uh, here in Australia or with a Australian, right, a guy called Ricardo Bosi, who we all know from A1. Now, now, I myself thought that interview was very shallow, very shallow. You got me. I mean, lots of words, lots of words. You know, the exchange was polite, but, you know, it didn't give me a stiffy. <laughs> but listen, that's a discussion for another day. You know what I mean? That's not where I was going to get to. But it's the fact that Rick, you know, uh, has a relationship, you know, a line of communication with General Michael Flynn. And, uh, you know, uh, um, then I want to come across and look at the attacks that are, you know, I've seen the attacks that have happened to Michael Flynn, General Flynn, and why people don't want him talking, mate. And particularly the gatekeepers don't want him talking. And particularly the truthers and freedom fighters don't want him talking. You get me? You understand? And then I look at Rick and I look at A1. And I'm sort of saying, why is Rick getting so much heat? Why is he being attacked so much? Why is there so much infiltration concentrated on A1? Now, could it be, could it be, I mean, I'm asking the question. I'm asking the question. I mean, could it be that soon, soon, General Michael Flynn's going to put so much information out that's not only going to have big ramifications for the United States of America, but it's going to have massive spillover, including here in Australia, and it's going to expose, it's going to expose a lot of things and particularly in the truth of freedom movement and in government and law enforcement and other things. I mean, I've already done a uh, an interview with Carl Leibold on the Durham report. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look at that. About the, you know, I mean, the USA law enforcement and justice systems are embedded here in Australia with our systems. You get me? So if they're doing infiltration and setting up false and fake truthers, and if they're, you know, they got infiltrators in the freedom movement and everything in America, why wouldn't they be doing it here? Why wouldn't our law enforcement and everything be doing it here? You get me? Come on, come on, guys. <laughs> Listen, Rick Bosey, mate, Rick Bosey in A1 has really got the blowtorch being put on him. You understand? Now, brother Rick, out there, every, look, look. My relationship with Rick and, and Rhiannon and, and A1 is simply their brother. They are comrades in arms. They're brothers in arms, brothers and sisters in arms, mate. There is no hoochie coochie shit going on. And I've not discussed any of this with Rick, and nor will I. Nor will I. I'm discussing this with you, not, not him. If you want to know, you go and ask him, right? I don't have access to him or shit like that, you know. Um, you know, he's got sh all sorts of stuff on his plate, and I've got all sorts of other stuff. I mean, you know, we, we live in different worlds, but we're fighting the same war. We're fighting the same enemy, and we want the same sorts of, you know, goals, you know, sovereignty and safety and, you know, all this sort of stuff. So, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, why is Bosi and A1, uh, you know, and Guru, and Guru, why are they trying to shut them up? Why? Hoodie and... Uh, Onis and uh, Cossack and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Why? 
General Michael Flynn may well open a tin of worms here, Australian people. Okay, he may well do that. Look, have a look at this clip. Make your own minds up. I'm not trying to spread anything and, 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 and I've not discussed this with anyone. I'm discussing it with you. I'm trying to look at evidence and see what it's telling me. You get me? All I know is, is that, you know, I've been to protests, I've been out to Esk, I've been Gold Coast, I've been, you know, I'm going to the Sunshine Coast, you know, uh, on um, tomorrow night. Tonight I'm doing the voice one here in Brisbane and, and Thursday night I'm up the Sunshine Coast. There's a My Place up there, a big uh, gathering up there, so I'm going up there. But all I see in here, there's a lot of knives being plunged into Rick Bosey's back. You get me? I mean, you, you don't have to agree with everything he's saying. You don't have to whatever. But but why why the assassination attempts? Why the infiltration? Why the sort of let's shut him down at all costs? You got me. Why? You know? And Guru. G'day, brother Guru. I mean, you know, I mean, what do you think? What What do you think? I don't know. I mean, is uh, General Michael Flynn, mate, going to really tip such a uh, bucket out and uh, the spillover and it washes right down here to Australia, to law enforcement here in Australia, to the freedom movement, to truth and movement? What do you reckon? Thanks, guys. Ciao. Oh, oh, your John. father was the president in the early days. So these people were undermining a duly elected president by taking out the national security advisor that he had decided to, to bring into the administration early on. So you kind of say, why Flynn? Well, remember, I led, I uh, not only ran the, one of the largest intel agencies in the world, Defense Intelligence Agency, but I was also assistant director of national intelligence for a, a good period of time. I had great relationships and I knew, I, I knew, had deep knowledge of the CIA, FBI, Department of Defense, Department of State. So you're, you've got a guy with a, with a broad, a series and set of experiences coming in to being the national security advisor. One of the little things that people don't realize is that all FISA, right? All FISA uh, for, for the types of FISA records that come across to the president of the United States that all this investigation that Mueller and Andrew Wiseman and the Department of Justice was involved in surrounding your dad. And, and frankly, from the Durham report and the Durham investigation that did come out, the national security advisor has access to all that. So, you know, there's been things like Flynn knows where the bodies are buried. It's not so much the, you know, the physical bodies. It's knowing how the intelligence community operates, knowing how the Defense Department operates, knowing how these these structures and these organizations actually get away with so much craziness. I took briefings on all the black programs, what we call black programs, which I'm very familiar with. I was familiar with, with many of them uh, while I was the, the head of DIA. And so I basically, as the National Security Advisor, I'm going to be responsible for all of them. Now, there's different organizations that run them. Black programs, this is a big deal, Donald, because, and for your audience to understand, sort of when we say where the bodies are buried. Black programs are, are very sensitive, classified programs where nobody has any idea how much money is spent on these things. The money just flows freely. The, the level of corruption and, frankly, criminal behavior inside of these things you know, it's just extraordinary. Yeah. And so one of, one of those among many are what they call findings, presidential findings. And these are the things that if, the, if a incoming president isn't aware of these things, trust me, the CIA and the FBI aren't going to tell the incoming president. And so I got partially briefed with, with uh, Pence coming back in. I got a full lay down of every single one of those. That, those are things that they do not want anybody to get control of him. General Flynn, the Free Star General. As Q says many times, Flynn is safe. Why is Flynn such a threat to so many people? Because he has the intel on all of them. They warned Donald Trump that Flynn is the most dangerous guy. You've got to ask yourself why. Well, here's why. What I point to is a very infamous meeting in the Oval Office on the 5th of January of 2017. 
5 January 2017. That's the day that I say that the coup actually, uh, you know, was initiated. So they started with all of their nonsense with the during the campaign where they were spying on the campaign. They had the the Russia Gate began, you know, uh, actually prior to the convention. So back in the in the late 2015, 2016. This is all evidence. I mean, this is all we we know all of this now. And that's the day in the Oval Office, Obama. Biden, Jim Clapper, Director of National Intelligence, John Brennan, Director of the CIA, Jim Comey, Director of the FBI, Sally Yates, the Deputy Attorney General for the United States of America, and Susan Rice, at the time, the National Security Advisor to Obama. During that meeting, during that meeting is when they decided that they were going to take out my legs, basically take out the National Security Advisor. This is provable now. We're not, I'm in a, I'm in a, a, a massive a lawsuit right now with the Department of Justice and the executive office of the president under Obama. So that day they had that meeting. And this is the very famous, you know, which there's so much stuff going on today. But this is where Biden talked about the Logan Act. OK, people can go back and look that up. This was this was brought up 5 January 2017. During that meeting, we know this now, you know, the the true evidence. One of the things that we got out of that meeting on, on uh, written notes, written notes from that meeting was, what's our objective to get Flynn to lie or to get him fired, basically so we can undermine Donald Trump, the president, right, the incoming president. And so basically what they did was they had a strategy on that day, because the very next day, you may you may recall this, the that group of people, minus the president and vice president and Sally Yates, they came up, uh, and, and Susan Rice, they came up to... Uh, the Trump Tower on the 6th of January and briefed us on, you know, the Russia, the Russia dossier. Right. And that was the very famous uh, meeting where uh, Comey and your father, your dad talked about the golden showers bullshit. Excuse my <laughs> Irish. And I don't mean to get. That. So what they did, what they did is that meeting led to their putting as many government resources to include even those while your father was the president in the early days. So these people were undermining a duly elected president by taking out the national security advisor that he had decided to, to bring into the administration early on. When you go back to the meeting between Obama and your dad, you have to say, why is he why is Flynn such a threat? Flynn is such a threat because Flynn knows exactly how and where these things are at. Mm -hmm. And and if, you, if they don't get me out really quickly, so if they didn't get me out when they did. There would have been no Mueller investigation, and I've spoken about this before. So no, think about that. Yeah. If I had stayed as the National Security Advisor, there would, there would have been no Mueller investigation, none, because none of that bullshit, none of that crap would have would have would have seen the light of day, because I would have been digging into that. So they had to get rid of me quickly, and they did in, in about three weeks. And then well. Uh I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you drew something out of it and uh, no doubt different people will draw different sort of messages and different lessons out of it. Um, but um, I thought that, uh, you know, trying to uh, one, understand what's coming at us and then um, looking at the connections and looking at you know, who's behind things, following cash flows. Um, etc. Now I'm going to try and wrap this up. I know I've taken a long time to come to this. I'm sorry everybody. Please cut me some slack. I mean we're, we're in a mess in this freedom movement and this truth of movement and so on. We're in a bloody mess and I'm trying to make sense of it all. Look, look, I think we um, uh, are getting very close to some very, very big disclosures here, not just from General Flynn. But from you know, other sources here, you know, um, now I think um, that and I know a lot of I'm talking to my Aussie friends here, you know, <coughs> I've done a recent poll and 75 percent of the people that watch my stuff are from Australia. So I'm talking to them at the moment. Look, I understand, uh, you know. Uh, looking at America, you're saying, look, uh, we're sick of it. You know what I mean? I get that. You know what I mean? But um, we are tangled up right in all of this spider's web, and it's not just us. It's nearly every country on the planet. You get me? I mean, we have a global infection here. <laughs> so look, look, 
Um, I look at the American sort of um, uh, scene and uh, the body politic and you know, military and stuff like that, right? And uh, um, I'm looking for what implications are there for Australia, where I can. I mean, you know, now I think, I think there are big, big implications coming. I mean, you heard Flynn talk about the Durham report and all that. I mean, we know Alexander Downer, us, we started this. This is an act of war trying to take down a US president, mate. You get me? I mean, look at all of the, what he says is black budget stuff. I mean, you know, you know, what does that mean? I mean, does that mean the Clinton Foundation and child trafficking? Does that mean 9-11? This is all off the book stuff. This is all funded and off the book stuff with unbelievable corruption. Listen to what uh, General Flynn's saying. What are the implications here for Australia, the spillover? There's a lot of disclosures coming, not just from Flynn. Flynn. And this is why, this is why there is this contest going on here, folks, out in the freedom movement, out in the truth of movement, out in the alt media movement, all of you folk out there, this is why there is this contest on to control that machinery, the message, control the information so it can be, you know, filtered, you get me, sanitized, whatever, or sold, you know, you've know, you got to pay money for it and stuff like that, they, you know. This is what the contest is all about, folks. I think a lot of people are going to be found out. I mean it. I think a lot of people are going to be found out and exposed here. And I mean, you know, I'm expecting law enforcement. I'm expecting political. I'm expecting military people. But, but I'm also expecting, you know, Kilmer John, mate, I'm suspicious of everyone, mate. I don't even trust me fucking self. <laughs> I think. There's going to be people inside the truth the movement, the freedom movement, the old media movement, etc., that are going to be exposed, and they're in a lot of trouble. And the and and I think the trouble that they're going to be in, the web they're going to get caught up in, it's going to be these organised crime, you know, uh, RICO laws. You get me? If they, 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 you know, old days, old days under laws, etc., you know, the person who done the crime. Got the, you know, they were the ones that took the time. You know, they got penalised, right? So the captains and the dons and others up, they never, ever got touched. Not now. You've only got to be linked to that family, to that syndicate. You get me? And you're gone. And big penalties. Big, big penalties. So, um, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I hope I've added something to it. See you soon.